they backed me up while I was on the road and arranged all this and I utilized all the IOU out there and they working very diligently. So I just want to thank you if Diana is here uh, and the whole crew. Um, this is uh, a beautiful beginning of a, a dialogue and I hope that um, we will have many beautiful things come out from this, which uh, I blame it all to him, uh, Sandy Chow. Uh, he won this, and he also have a lot of big plan behind it. And we just want to welcome everyone. Particularly, I want to thank you, Ding Ding, to do all this, and and uh, and also the the two. Uh, consultant Porsche and Anna Marie, and I have to thank even Michael is not here. Michael is the one who introduced me, so I I could find them uh, real fast, and also twist their arm to do it in a in a very a fraction of their professional way. So without further delay, welcome, and let's fly together. So my chairman. Sandy Chow, would you like to say a few words? So get us, get us started. And then you can hear everybody's report. Uh, as what you light up the fire in 2015, this is something uh, that we are harvesting. Well, I... <clears throat> I really appreciate that everybody just uh, spent so much of your pre very precious time to come over here. And then the, uh, in California recently, is that the uh, light of the fire is not uh, very popular. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, it's, uh, it's bad, bad for your health, and then uh, you might lose your house uh, sometime. And then the, uh, it literally, it's just... Um, for the purpose of the, uh, to get the Asian Americans strong, uh, sometimes it's actually worth to lose your house. Because we, what we are doing coming here, I, I think it's very important. We are not really <clears throat> for our own benefit. We'll all work together for what purpose? I think we're all working together to hope for a better future. We're hoping, I, I think uh, the Asian Americans uh, in this country are very, very, have similar beliefs and similar moral standard and similar ethics. Is we care, we come to this country and then like, our forefather, and like everybody, because they are looking for a brighter future, a brighter future for what? It's a brighter future for our future generation. I think it's important. So therefore, we have to put everything in order because we want a brighter future for our future generations. It is so important. It's because we are at a moment that we can, we think we have a lot of resources. We think the, the world we can dom dominate and then the, uh, we can exchange or whatever. But somehow, the allocation of resources requires significant national policy, the trade and everything. And then we have to take advantage of the new technology to move forward. And then we have to look at the limited amount of resources that we have like energy, like fossil fuel, and everything. And then we find out recently in California is so important. Just a campfire created pollution so severe that sometimes <laughs> the pollution blew to the rest of the world. So therefore, the world is still very small. We just have to be very careful of that and then we have to be very treasured what we have. And more importantly, this is one country 
If we have a will, we can make some differences. We can participate. So therefore, it is our goal that we will participate, and we want be counted to make some differences. So this is why we're here, because we want a better future. Because we are thinking about our children and their children. That we are are we giving them the best opportunity? And also, this country, are we contributed? Are we allowed to contribute for a better future? Because the reason why is us. The world is so precious, that so small, it cannot be wasteful. It cannot be le- less optimal. So it is our responsibility to do that. We are not really. I, in my opinion, I'm not really come out. To say I need this right, I need this、uh, benefit, I need whatsoever. I'm, in my opinion, is this that this is such a precious world. It requires dedication, and then ability to be a part of it that would make it better for everyone. Not only for Asian American, it's for everyone. And then for Asian Americans, I think. We can contribute because we have 22 million Asian Americans in this country. Which is about、uh, put it this way, it's a little between six to seven percent. And then by 2040, there will be 40 million Asian Americans. That we are the fast growing <clears throat> group within this country, and pure、uh, research. Have one at one time is this somewhere between forty to fifty years from today, Asian Americans would be the largest ethnic group. It would, it could actually surpass the Hispanic. For that, in order to be have equal participation whatsoever, as a matter of fact, as HP app、uh, uh, wrote me a a, a notice that in ten years、uh, we're looking for.、Uh, A thousand elected officers and hundreds of elected officers here and there, and I, I would say, we probably Asian Americans should have representation in the Congress. If we consider the same group, we should have 100 congressmen in the Congress, uh huh, and then we should have 20 senator within it. So therefore, in order to do that, we need to get together, and, and. Uh, about twenty, about eighteen years ago, the Vision America have a speech contest. The high school,、uh, the junior and senior from high school, they stand up. About twenty-five percent of them, the speech is just, "I want to be the president of the United States." Twenty-five percent. But in order to get to that point, it requires significant. <clears throat> Unification. We should do a lot of legwork in order to do that, and we we need inspiration. There will be a lot of trial and errors, and then we should stand behind it, because th- that is a common cause that we need to support. And then I am taking a very bold、uh, step. I think for that, that is a force that we can unite it together. Today and tomorrow it will be very special. Because it is special because you are here, because we want to listen to you, because we want to see all the energy behind you, how we can we can harness all the power, and then whether we can do something together in the same direction, that is coordinated, we work like a concert and we orchestrate like a concert. I think this is so important. Because a lot of times, uh, uh, I'm sorry to be a little bit lengthy, and then let me tell you a story in 1979. In 1979, I was two years into starting my own company, and find out it's very difficult to start your own high tech company in 1970s. Because there's a general sentiment, say. 
that Chinese, you are not good in, uh, in corporate uh, politics. Chinese, uh, you're supposed to be very obedient and then not very creative. That was about more than 40, uh, 40 years ago because the perception, the stereotyping is very difficult. And then I will say, well, we, we have different people have different skill sets. Different people will get together and say, hey, I have struggled and overcome some labor problems. I have struggled to overcome some image problem. And then I'll come and struggle and solve some financial problem, some technical problem, some hiring of engineers, engineer, and then, and then all kind of account receivable, funding and everything. Then I find out it's necessary for different people who have different background, get together and share and be networked together. And then I'll form a, an organization called AAMA, at that time called Asian American Manufacturing Association. And I called on to people, the people I know, mostly Chinese. I have one table full of people. I said, want to do that, to do this. Uh, can you support it? I insist on a, how about we have a meeting every month to share our experience. And then the, the next month, <clears throat> I reserve a table and me, Bob Chen, and another guy show up, three people. And then the uh, Bob is here uh, with me. Um, the, <clears throat> and then we two show up and the third person show up and say, I only come to send you a message. I'm not going to stay very long. And then, and then we ask, what is your message? He said, you're wasting your time. The Chinese cannot work together. Wow. That is the first meeting. But we persevere. And then about 10 years uh, later, I, I moved out and I came back for AMA meeting. We have a conference. We have 60 speakers, and then we have a, that conference, everybody has to pay maybe $300 for the two-day conference, and then more than 1,000 people show up. So therefore, basically, it's us. Do not underestimate the persistency of a meeting, because if you persist, eventually, if it's for a good cause, things will happen. So therefore, basically, it's us. Even though we have a beginning, I think working together is so important because we have a responsibility for the, let's say, in 2040, 40 million people, Asian Americans. How many of them are young and they need a brighter future? So therefore, we have to unite it together and work together. So this is a time that we have this opportunity to look forward into the future because Anthony is very good uh, in terms of uh, getting the theme of this meeting. And then if you open up the co uh, cover of this, uh, uh, <clears throat> this folder, it said fly together. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I utilized this exactly to explain why we need to fly together. That was in 2017 to the, to the intern of the students I said, I, I talked to the group about, uh, I don't know how NESCAR is raised. They have a team. Somebody break the wing, somebody follow them so their engine is not uh, overworked. And all of a sudden, the one behind it will come to win the race. And then during that time, it was the end of Tour de France. Tour de France is very interesting. They have maybe 14 teams. Each team has 10 people. And then there are people to break the wing for their leader. 
and then there are tactics. So each one would break the wind for the leader, and at the end, allow the leader to move up and win the yellow jersey. Then this is exactly how it fly together. If you look at the sky, the birds will fly north to south, or the birds will fly from south to north. You always have one bird trying to break the wind, and it cannot be very long. It will break wind, the the wind, for a while. Sometimes five minutes, sometimes ten minutes, and they will get very tired, and it will drop off. The next bird will fight and break the wind for the team, and this is the way they can really fly very far, and this way they can actually fly fast enough as a team to reach. The winter home or summer home. So therefore, without a group, the birds may die; they don't survive. So this is why what is fly together means. If we do not fly together, we won't get our will, and then we must fly together. So therefore, the theme of this is fly together, because we have a better chance to survive. If we do not fly together, I want to be my own king. I want to be my own、uh, glory. We won't get very far, and then not enough time for us to reach the destination, because by you alone, it's not enough to get from one place to the destination. So today, we want to listen to you. We want to see. What is our destination? That's future of our future generation, and then together we、we'll、get to our destination. Thank you. So, without further delay, let me introduce the two wonderful consultant, Portia and Anna Marie. It's all yours. Thank you. Thank you.